In some situations, the infection can spread quickly and require immediate attention. If a dentist is unavailable and there is a fever, swelling in the face, or swelling in the jaw, a visit to the emergency room is recommended. An emergency room visit is imperative if there is difficulty with breathing or swallowing. Swallowing. Once the infection is cleared and the tooth can be restored, a root canal procedure is performed. The root canal treatment cleans out the entire inner space of the tooth, pulp chamber and the associated canals, and seals the space with an inert rubber material called gutta percha. Cleaning and sealing the inner space protects the tooth from further invasive infections. The tooth may need to be extracted if too much tooth structure or bone that surrounds the tooth is lost from tooth decay and infection. Infection In children's primary teeth, baby teeth, if a tooth has abscessed, there is very little that can be done to save the tooth. The appropriate treatment would be extraction of the abscessed tooth. In an abscessed primary tooth, the infection has advanced and there is no way to completely remove all of the infection. Complete removal of the abscessed tooth is also important in avoiding a persistent infection that could risk harming the adult tooth that is developing underneath. Oral antibiotics may or may be needed depending on the extent of the infection. Infection During pregnancy, a dental abscess requires immediate attention in order to minimize further spread of the infection. Any risk of infection while pregnant is a concern as the infection can be more severe in pregnant women or could harm the fetus. The fetus.